Hello, in this video we're going to do some revealed preference problems. So revealed preference examines consumer choices to learn about consumer preferences. Here are some main assumptions. The consumer maximizes utility subject to a budget constraint, choosing the best affordable bundle. Indifference curves are convex to the origin. If a consumer chooses a more expensive bundle, say bundle A, over a less expensive bundle, bundle B, the consumer prefers bundle A to bundle B. Bundle A has a combination of goods that give it more utility than bundle B. Suppose the consumer prefers bundle B to bundle C. By transitivity, bundle A is revealed to be preferred to bundle C. All right, let's start with our examples. So in example one, bundle A consists of two units of good X and 80 units of good Y. Based on the consumer having an income of $1,000, the price of good X at $100, and the price of good Y at $10. Bundle B, the consumer choose bundle B, which consists of one unit of good X and 105 units of good Y, when the consumer has an income of $1,200, the price of good X is $150, and the price of good Y is $10. Our goal here is to determine which bundle does the consumer prefer, bundle A or bundle B, which bundle gives the highest level of utility. So let's start with this idea. With an income of $1,200 and the price of good X and price of good Y at $150 and $10 respectively, the consumer can afford to purchase bundle A, the quantities listed under bundle A. So for example, taking the price of $150, multiplying it by the quantity of good X in bundle A, the consumer would spend $300 on good X. And then the spending on good Y, the price of good Y is $10. And the consumer bought 80 units in bundle A of good Y, the consumer would spend $800. So the total spending here is $1,100. This bundle is affordable because the consumer has $1,200 in the second situation. So because the consumer could afford it, to buy the first bundle, bundle A, and did not, it means bundle B is preferred to bundle A. So again, just to summarize here, because bundle A is attainable with the higher income and new prices, but the consumer chooses bundle B instead, the consumer prefers bundle B to bundle A. All right, let's do another example. So in the first situation, bundle A, the consumer buys bundle A, which consists of two units of good X and 16 units of good Y, when the consumer has an income of $100, and we have the price of good X at $10 a piece, and the price of good Y at $5 a piece. In the second situation, the consumer buys bundle B, which consists of one unit of good X and 18 units of good Y, and that's a case when the consumer has $120 of income and the price of good X now is $30 and the price of good Y is still $5. So as before, which bundle does the consumer prefer? So with the income of $120 and the price of good at $30 and the price of good Y at $5, the consumer could not afford to purchase bundle A. The spending on good X would be 30 times the quantity in bundle A, two units of X, that's $60. The spending on good Y, 5 times 16, is $80. That's $140. This consumer only has $120. On the other hand, with an income of $100, and the price of good X $10, and the price of good Y $5. So this was a scenario when the consumer bought bundle A. So under this scenario, the consumer could have also bought bundle B. The spending on good X, 10 times 1 is 
this one is the quantity purchased in bundle B. Let me just go back to the previous slide. So in bundle B, the consumer bought one unit of a good act, so that's where I'm getting that number from. So I'm taking 10 times 1 right here. And then the spending on good Y, price of good Y is $5. In bundle B, the consumer bought 18 units of Y. So the total spending here is $100. So the consumer could afford it to buy bundle B, but instead the consumer bought bundle A. Therefore, bundle B was affordable when the consumer purchased bundle A, but the consumer did not choose bundle B. So bundle A is preferred to bundle B. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.